I'm here with Peter Facinelli, who plays Carlisle yes. in Twilight. Are you so excited for tonight? I am very excited. I am. Cool. So you're blonde as Carlisle in the movies. Are yes. you going to miss your blonde hair? No. Blonde, <laughs> blonde guys do not have more fun. Oh, all right. Man. Maybe blonde girls, but blonde guys don't. All right, okay. But a lot of guys just look at me like, you spend a lot of time in the salon, I'm going to kick your ass. That's, <laughs> oh, wow. That's, what, that's, that's the looks that I got. Okay, so that's a definite no. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> I hear you do a really great um, driving a car dance. Yeah. Can you do that for us? It's, uh, I'm going to have to clear the couch. Yeah? All right, I'll show it Let's to you. Let's see it. But you got to do it with me. All right, sure, teach right. me. Let's do it. So, all right, you got to have music for this a little bit. I'm going to put Where's this mic down. All right. So, in your heads. Yeah, I gotta have the music in your heads. Yeah, there we go. I got some. There we go. So you put your hands on ten and two like this, and then you get in the shoulders a little bit, right? Right? Like this. You got it going, and then you just drive the car like this. There you go. And then yeah. if, if I had room, I'd slam it in reverse like this. There you go. It's gonna sweep the nation. Very nice. Okay, so here are some pictures of you at all the different Twilight premieres. Which is your favorite look that you oh, did, and which is your least favorite. Oh, look at that. Look, it's me aging through the years. <laughs> Vampires aren't supposed to age, but um, I don't know. I, I'd have to go with the younger picture when I was young and handsome. <laughs> oh, come on. What are you talking about? You don't have a favorite and least favorite look? Uh, which one is your favorite look? Uh, I like them all. Oh, see, that's a I like this out. look. Okay, the new, the me I like right the new now? look. Yeah? The new look okay. is the best. Okay. Okay. You're so just saying that because I'm here right no, now. No, I really like this outfit. Okay. It's very sharp. Okay. So I hear you and Kellen Lutz are quite, like, prankful yeah. on set. What's your favorite prank or what's the craziest prank you guys have pulled on set? <laughs> <laughs> um, wow, do we, have, do we have hours and hours? Um, it was, I, I, I don't know. I, I, oh, yes, I did prank, I did prank Maggie Grace. We did. <laughs> we pranked Maggie Grace. I forgot. What we, I think I think I, I acted like I was one of the other cast members, and I asked her out on a date, and it was really awkward because she was being really sweet and we being real. Come on, Maggie Grace, come, come, come Maggie in, come Grace, in come in, in. and tell us tell the story so that, so the whole world knows. Well, I, I think we should leave out certain salient details. So I, I pretended like I was one of the other actors, and I called her up and I said, Hey, I think you you know I like blonde hair, and I really think you know you're pretty, and I think we you know we should we should hang out. And she was really sweet about it, and you could tell she was kind of stammering. Whole, and like the whole cast was in the room, though. It was yeah. really awkward. So you would have said yes to, to if, the, if the cast wasn't in the room. <laughs> it's a long, cold winter in British Columbia. No. <laughs> so anyway, oh, wow. I finally yeah. let her off the hook, and I told her it wasn't that cast member. It was me. Well, that's and then point. I was like, definitely no. Yeah, yeah. that wasn't even no. A there were multiple practical jokes. Did you? Did were there other practical jo jokes with the other guys? I feel like the rap party was just shenanigans. I don't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that says it all. I'll tell you. I'll tell you one time. I <laughs> I um, I wrote. Uh, I found a card in the store and I and I bought it and it said, uh, "You are not what you do for a living." And you opened it up and it says, I hope one day you'll find the job that's right for you. <laughs> and I bought it and I signed it and I gave it to Rob. Oh. And, I, and I did it as a joke. And Rob looked at it and first of all, he was freaked out. I gave him a card anyway. He was like, why are you giving me a card? And then he read it and he was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> he didn't get that it was a joke. I had to actually, no, I had to explain to him that it was like a joke. He's very sweet. So, yeah. Those are good ones. Awesome, awesome. Thank you guys.